Hello once again, this is Tubal Kane. Welcome back to my machine shop. This is tips number 428 entitled 3D Printing a Center Gauge Attachment. And this is in fact a three-way collaboration between me, Tubal Kane, with the original design. Randy Richard in the shop, he's from California, he provided the dimension drawing and finally Kevin Peterson from Austin, Texas who did the 3D modeling for me and Kevin's name on Thingiverse is Moon is my home. Some of you may have watched my recent video where I made a center gauge attachment and it was based upon the Sterrett and the brown and sharp versions of these which are no longer available and I made this in a couple different versions one that you could glue on and one that has set screws and I explained the use of this in the other video and here's a screenshot of my recent video tips number 423 should there be anyone out there that has not already seen this within a day or two after I released the video I got an email from Randy Richard out in California and I've been in contact with Randy many times and have some of his products and he said I made a drawing of this and I intend to make a couple of your attachments here uh, presently and I said oh great uh, can you send me the drawing and he said well certainly and he did almost instantly and I said can I use the drawing in my video and he said yes use it any way you want so anyone that wants to, uh, to take a screen capture of this or whatever to make that and this is the one out of steel feel free to do so and we have Randy's permission and by way of introduction you may recall that Randy Richards is the one that made these scribers for me and sent them to me and that beautiful dovetail cutter which I did use in some of my videos thanks for that Randy Kevin Peterson from Texas is the one that I have already collaborated with and he is the one that did the 3D modeling of my design for this Aloris uh, indicator holder and that's on Thingiverse and he also did these uh, casting wheels for me that I intend to use later in the spring when the weather warms up to make aluminum casting so those are actually foundry patterns and I thank Kevin for that as well both Randy and Kevin are very adept at using these CAD programs and Randy Richard created this drawing using Fusion 360 I then passed it on to Kevin as a PDF file if I remember correctly and it wasn't very long before he had done the 3D modeling and then uploaded it to Thingiverse and now you can download it from Thingiverse as an STL file. In the way of review in the last video this is the type of uh, attachment I made and there's a little slit in here and of course two set screws to hold it on to the center gauge. Also you could make this without the holes and glue it in or use an adhesive or something to hold it in there if you didn't want to get into those small holes. Again I'm not showing you how to use that because that was in the other video. Some people are still saying well what is that thing? Well it's a center gauge and a center gauge attachment. I'm not going to give a demonstration on how to use it. So uh, quite a few people made this or were interested in it but the bugaboo here is that in order to make it you need that very expensive 90 degree shaped uh, cutter and then a little slitting saw and a lot of people do not have that and it's just rather expensive and of course I told you that Brown and Sharp and Sterrett no longer uh, manufacture these so unless you can find them on eBay you're out of luck but these are really nice to use when you're threading on the lathe so that's when I came up with the idea that we ought to make it uh, out of plastic uh, with the 3D printer and Kevin consented to do that from that drawing and he made two versions one is a version without any holes in it and that is the version that uh, would necessitate gluing it in or in some way fastening it in you may need to use a little file to clean it up but probably not the file really is needed to clean up the one that has the uh, set screws in it now another thing that Kevin did when he designed this we had two versions actually three versions one where the holes did not go all the way through but then we were tapping a blind hole and that proved very troublesome 
so he extended the holes all the way through and uh, that helped a lot in tapping that little 440 hole. In tapping the holes it was a bit uh, troublesome in that some of them broke off and you can see there's not much material left there after the hole and the slot so they break off and I think that they are just delaminating and that probably can be uh, uh, eliminated by printing a little bit hotter. I'm not real sure I'm still playing around with it and guessing at that so you have to be careful tapping and I like this kind of tap handle uh, for these real small taps so you don't put too much torque on them. But many of them did successfully uh, get tapped like that with the set screws and that one's even color coordinated. Now those are 440 set screws and uh, let me show you what they look like because they certainly are tiny. And here's the set screws that you need to buy and they certainly are little ones and a very tiny hex key as well. And there is the address and the credit required by Thingiverse. And here they are fresh off the printer and you can print several at a time. I'm back on the computer and this is Thingiverse and in order to find the thread gauge just uh, do a search for thread gauge or for Kevin Peterson moon is my home and here you can see where there are several of his creations here there's the wheel casting that he made for me there is the indicator holder and here is the thread gauge which is what we're really talking about here and in two versions there's the one with the holes there's the one without the holes you can download both of them at the same time and then be sure if you show this to give credit to Kevin and to Thingiverse. So again on Thingiverse you can print it out with or without the screw holes and if you set up four or six of those at the same time uh, you'll save yourself a lot of time unless, in case you get some bad ones or you break some off or something like that and they print in the vertical position like a Midwest silo. Thank you for watching whether you want to make one out of steel or out of PLA plastic and print it, it's up to you. Hope you liked the video. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now. See you in the next video, I hope.